what's happening everyone and welcome back to sense of south jersey with me kellen for another fragrance review we're going to be taking a look at a fragrance that i have had for a long time did a review on it a, a million years ago and i wanted to bring it back because i wore it again recently and it's one that I, I think i can shed light on and the reason i wanted to review it again um not only because i wanted to you know give you guys my opinion after having a long experience with it but because I get this question asked me all the time, Kellen, do you have any interest in Middle Eastern fragrances? Are you ever gonna review Middle Eastern fragrances? And uh, my personal opinion on that is most of them are not very good in my opinion. The ones I've experienced sucked. You know, Armoff Club Dina We Intense, man, great Aventus clone. That's pretty much it from their house that I'd ever really be interested in trying. I had the other one, the green one, the His Highness Green from Afnan, sucked, totally hated that. And a lot of them have like this scent that I just, you know, this, the base note in it that are something in it that I don't really enjoy from the ones that I've tried. However, this house, the house of Al Rehab, is a great, inexpensive cologne house, and they make some clones of some classic fragrances, fragrances like Lapidus Porome. Um, they do things like Giacomo de Giacomo uh, clones, but the one we're gonna review today is called Dakar, and again, from the house of all we have, here's the box. And this is obviously going to be an impression of the Dracar Noir vibe. So what we'll do, we'll break down the fragrance into its presentation, its notes, its performance based on my experience wearing it, and give it my overall thoughts and opinions, and then I'm gonna give it a rating. If it's your first time to the channel and you enjoy this type of classic men's fragrance content, make sure to subscribe to support the channel. We're close to 10K, and you know I appreciate every single one of you that do subscribe and watch in general. So uh, check out the Instagram page for news and updates on the channel, photos of fragrances from my collection, and daily scent of the day posts. Also, uh, if you have a uh, TikTok, check out Sabro88 for some champagne savoring content. And again, I'm gonna start you know, plugging in my Mercari page too for any of you guys who are interested in some discontinued or rare fragrances or any fragrance in general that I may uh, have on my listing that you've seen in my videos that you're interested in checking out. Again, I want to kind of cleanse my collection of things that I wear. Even if I like something, I just find myself not wearing it. I feel like someone else should enjoy it and I can enjoy the stuff that I have that I wear all the time too. So without wasting any more of your time, let's get a look at Dakar by Al Rehab. Okay, starting things off with the presentation, of course. Let's take a look at the box first. Sorry for holding the bottle. Two, so really, really, really cheap box. You got some uh, Arabic writing here, Dakar. You got this crown perfumes. Is that what that says? Yeah, with the little crown symbol. It's kind of got this like purplish vibe here. Got this symbol here, I have no idea what that is. It is an eau de parfum, and the size of this is a 50 ml. It is a spray bottle on the top there. You've got Al Rehab, their logo. On the back, you've got some brand information and is there a batch code? I don't know. It doesn't matter. This stuff is so, so cheap. Let's open it up. I've like torn it open, trying to open it from the wrong side. And in here, you know, the box is actually folded up to make it. So, you know, the box is what it is. I still have it. You can take a look at the bottle. The bottle's actually pretty cool. It does look a little Middle Eastern, almost like a, uh, like the, just the way it's shaped, it kind of has that vibe, like a genie bottle type of thing, or sort of, you know, decanter of sort. The juice is like a bright green here. It says uh, Dakar Al Rehab you know, take a look at it. It is thick glass. You can pick it up by the cap. It has a, you know, sort of a cheap cap, but that's okay. It is an inexpensive fragrance. I believe this is around nine to $10. Um, and you can see the neck here, no, no crimp cover. Let's take a look at the distribution here. I'll spray some on my arm. Beast sprayer for, for something like that, even though it's a cheap bottle, that sprayer is pretty serious. So um, now that I can taste the fragrance, I can give you my review. No, I'm just kidding. So pretty, pretty basic presentation, but they do come with roll-on if you like the roll-on version, but I prefer the spray. I've had both though, and I think the spray is just easier to use. Okay, now I'm gonna list the notes here for Dakar by Al Rehab. So there is no top, middle, or base from what I found online on Fragrantica. Obviously, they just listed a string of notes, so here they are. We have moss, sage, cedar, spicy notes, sandalwood, water notes, which I find hard to believe, amber, and agarwood, or oud. Um, what I get is the moss and the sage. I I'm sure you know there's some spice and things like that too. I don't get any oud. I don't get any um, watery notes. Thank God. I think that that would really make it a strange take on the classic Dracar style. But those are the ones I pick up on the most, but that's what's listed for the scent. 
Okay, when you talk about the performance for Dakar, it is very strong. This is easily an eight plus hour scent um, on clothing. You could even get to 10 hours depending on how much you spray. I've used a decent amount of it. I just started using it again. Um, uh, and when I decided I wanted to make a video on it too. So definitely great performance, especially for the price. You can't beat that. That's actually really good performance for what they offer. They're known for having high performing fragrances from what I've read, at least the ones that I've looked into, the ones that I've tried. Okay, time for my thoughts and opinions on Dakar Eau de Parfum by Allery Hap. So it's a great clone of that classic Dracar Noir style. However, the direction this one takes is less of the smooth shave foam, light oak moss, barbershop style to more of a, like a oily oak moss or oak moss oil. Like when you have the roll-on ones, they, and the spray too, they have a thicker resinous green note. It's in that Jacquard family, but it, it even sort of leans more towards like the Caesar's Man legendary cologne spray. Not as clean as that one, not as well done, but this one's still really good. And I believe that there is real oak moss or tree moss in this because I don't think it's made, and obviously it's not made in the, um, in the United States too. So maybe it's not subject to those regulations of the um, IFRA regulations with what notes you can use and, and how much of it too. Cause there's definitely, it's definitely mossy. Um, it's strong, it's masculine. I like it out of the shower a lot of the times because it, it does smell clean to me, despite it being a thicker scent too. So I, I have nothing but good things to say about this fragrance, especially for the price. And if you're someone that you, know, you just want something cheap to use daily, but you love the classic old school vibe, check this out, check the house. And I'm sure if, you, if it's not this one, the one that you love, check other ones out. They have a Lord, which is a Lapidus Pour Ohm. Um, I have that one, it's insanely strong. They've got some other ones that I've tried, little sample roll-ons. Um, this is the one that I have at the spray bottle though, and this is the one that I think is the best. You know, and again, it's an Eau de Parfum, and, and they definitely have that oil, it's got that oil resinous, oak mossy green vibe to it, uh, and, and, and it's got that classic style too. So performance, price, all scent, all hitting on all points there. So this is, this is, this is a good scent to get, especially if you love that classic old school Dracar. And if you're someone that maybe, people say, oh, this is a vintage Dracar Noir, clone. It's not a clone of the, the current formulation. I disagree with that because I have vintage Dakar Noir and it, it's, it smells, still smells different from this. This is a, a darker, more Middle Eastern take on what I think that genre of fragrances, that fougere style um, in, the, in the vein of Dracar Noir though. Um, you know, if you're going to wear this, I would say spring, summer, fall, um, office safe, gym safe. You know, you wear it whenever you want. Going out, totally, you can do that because it lasts a long time. Maybe you go lighter in the summer, probably could wear it all year round. It really doesn't make a difference. But um, it's definitely the best from the house, in my opinion, and something you should check out if you love that fougere style. Okay, time for the ratings for Dakar by Al Rehab. Presentation, you know, obviously it's not that great, but again, I, I, you can't really ding it that much for it because of the fact that it's really cheap. However, the box and the bottle, like, you know, compared to other things, I'm only basing it off that. I'm gonna give it a five out of 10, but I don't really hold it against it. Uh, their performance for this fragrance is great. Nine out of 10, it's a strong scent. The scent overall is a cool take on that classic Dracar, Caesars, you know, Duke de Vervon style, but that it, it goes this oily, kind of resinous, darker, deeper oak moss vibe. So uh, seven and a half out of 10 for the scent bringing the overall rating for Dakar by Albert Hab to a seven out of 10. It really is saved by its performance there. That gives it a bigger boost in the overall average. So seven and a half, or excuse me, seven out of 10 for Dakar. All right, everyone, that's gonna wrap it up for me. That is my take on the inexpensive clone house Al Rahab. Dakar. This is their Eau de Parfum. This is the spray bottle. Let me know in the comment section, do you have any Al Rehab fragrances? Do you enjoy this one? Are you a big fan of Middle Eastern fragrances? You guys know I'm not really, but you know, again, it's an only my opinion on the scent. Um, let me know in the comment section, what do you think about this one? You know, I love all of the interaction. Guys, make sure to subscribe if you haven't done so yet. Check out the Instagram page, check out the TikTok. I really appreciate you guys watching and hanging out with me today, and I will see you all in the next video. Take care.